All right, the next set of directions say name each of the following using the diagram. Okay, so the first set just asked me for a pair, so not all the pairs, just a pair of opposite rays. Well, remember when I talk about opposite rays in my class, I think of it like a lightsaber. So you have uh, Darth Maul has a lightsaber that when he pushes this button in the middle, you have the left side of the lightsaber and the right side of the lightsaber. So there's my right, there's my left. Those are going to be opposite rays. They're shining in different directions. Okay. And we know that rays keep going forever and ever and ever. And so when I'm looking for that set of opposite rays, I try to find a letter that's in the middle. So I might look at Y because I have multiple directions coming out of Y. And so one set of opposite rays would be Y through T is the ray that's going to the right out of Y. And then if he puts the other side out, Y through W. So Y through W. And again, I draw those arrows over it to show that those are coming out of um, the same endpoint, the Y, and they're going opposite directions, one through T and then one through W. So those are opposite rays. All right. I like to erase each time just to give myself a clear canvas. Now we want to come up with another name for plane A. So here's my plane A. Looks like a sheet of paper, but we know it extends forever in all directions. And they did the lazy way. They've already stole the easy way. Plane A is that script letter, that um, capital letter, does not have a point near it. They've already used that. So what's another way to name a plane? We use three letters, and those three letters can't be in a straight line. So it cannot be W-Y-T, that forms a line, not a plane. And it cannot be X-Y-Z, because that forms a line, not a plane. We need, of these one, two, three, four, five points on this plane, we need three that are not in a straight line. So they need to form a triangle. So multiple answers here, um, but you could call it plane W, X, Y. Plane W, X, Y. Um, you could do W, Z, T. You could do T, X, Y. Any set of three of those five that does not form a straight line. So multiple options for that. Okay, two ways to name line WT, that's number eight. Okay, well, let's find WT first. There's the line WT. If that is a way to name that line, the easy way to do this is the Uno reverse card. You just flip it around. Lines can be named forwards and backwards. So we just flip it around and we draw the line above it, TW. If WT works, then TW must work. We can also use any lowercase letter that's written next to the line that's not a point, but sadly they don't have one on that line. So let's keep looking. Um, you can use another point on the line. So let's go Y. So like WY would work or YW or um, YT would work, any of those. Okay, let's do number nine. Number nine says if W to T, so if this line WT bisects this segment, let's see. Which segment is it bisecting? Bisects XZ, which means it cuts it in half. Then point Y is going to be the midpoint. Y is smack dab in the middle. And what do we know? We know that from X to Y is going to be congruent to Z to Y. Those two smaller pieces, those two teeny tiny blue pieces are going to be congruent because that red um, lightsaber cuts that segment in half. So it breaks it into two equal pieces. All right, let's look at number 10. Number 10 asks if these points are coplanar or non-coplanar. So I'm going to highlight them. T, Z, W, and U. So here's T. Here's Z. There's W. So far, so good. Now we just have to check the last one. Here's U. Well, U is on a totally different plane. It's happening below that green plane. And so are those coplanar or non-coplanar? We would have to say non-coplanar. Because of U, U is not on the plane that T, Z, and W are. That is, those are going to be non-coplanar. Okay? All right. Then it wants us to name the intersection of the two planes. Well, how do we know that two planes cross? We know that these two planes are going to intersect. Two planes intersect in a line. So let's go find that line where they cross. What line goes through both of these planes? That line is going to be X, Z. So two lines intersect in a plane. That is going to be line X, Z. How else could you name it? You could name it YZ or ZY or YX, all of those. Any two of these three points, name that line and you just draw a line over it. All right. Where do WT, so I'm going to highlight that. Here's WT, that line. And um, where does that intersect plane SZU? So here's plane SZU. S, there's Z, so SZU. Where does it intersect that plane? Um, well, where does that go through it? It is going straight through it like a dart at point Y. So it's happening at point Y. Okay, you don't have to do the little point symbol. I just did to show it crosses at a point. Okay, 
So that is the second section for questions 6 through 12. I will do a new video for the vocabulary.